In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can use a free tool within Adobe Express to resize your images. Now, this is perfect if you maybe have one image that you want to repurpose for various social media applications such as Instagram posts or Instagram stories or maybe even for the likes of LinkedIn or some of the other social media applications. So this is not only completely free to use, but the other benefit of using this particular tool is that there is no requirement to have an account to use it. So I'm gonna drop a direct link in the comments area below which will take you straight to this tool. I have actually logged in because I'm going to carry on in this tutorial with showing you how to then take your design into Adobe Express and make some tweaks and changes for the social media application you're designing for. But first of all, let's take a look at how to quickly resize your image. So we're going to go into quick actions and we're going to choose resize image. Again, I'll give you a link in the description below to take you straight to this particular tool. But you'll see just in this little preview on the right hand side, it basically shows you a picture of the image that you upload and then it asks you to choose where you're going to put that image and it can correctly resize. Now the benefit of tools like this is that it knows the correct size for the output. So if you're designing for Instagram or for Facebook for, or for TikTok, it knows what size the correct sizes are to be and it takes the guesswork out of it for you because sometimes if you don't know the sizes and you try to take a standard image into these applications, it's going to crop them anyway and it may not look great. So using a tool like this not only saves you time, but it means that it's going to look as good as it can. So what we need to do is we need to click on upload your photo and then it takes you to this screen here where it's going to ask you to select your image. Now the image must be a JPEG or a PNG file and it can only be up to 17 megabytes. So that's still pretty large for a standard image. It is worth noting that the image is not listed here but cannot be any more than 6,000 pixels. So if you have maybe downloaded from the internet from Pixels or Unsplash or taken a photo on a high resolution camera, if it's above 6,000 pixels, you need to downsample that before bringing it into here. So first of all, let's just click on browse and we have to locate the image that we want to use. So I have some photographs in here. I've got this group of people one that we're going to use here. So basically this is just a group of five or six people. We're going to click on open and you'll see it will bring the image in. So it's just going to upload it, lets us see the image as it is. And then at this point, it allows us to choose how we want to resize. So we've got about six or seven people in this image. First of all, if we were designing for an Instagram story, then we'll see here it's already resizing for Instagram. That's probably the most common application people size for. And then all we need to do is click on story. And then what it has basically done is you'll see it has set up the boundaries which are 1080 by 1920. So 1920 pixels high, 1080 wide. We can then go into the image here and we can move around. So if the key focus of this image was maybe these two people here, we could select them like that or we can move across because maybe it's these two that are the primary focus. However, we can still see some other people in this one. So what we can do is we can use image scale and you'll see we can then zoom in slightly or zoom out. So we can just move this around until we're happy with it. Let's just move it to there. And then if we're happy with that, we can simply click on the download button. So let's just click on download and it'll ask us where we want to save this. So in this case, I'm just gonna save it to my downloads here. And then it'll take just a little second and you will see that the image will have been downloaded. And if I double click, you'll see we've got this JPEG of just these two people. Now it works in the same way if you are resizing for, let's say square where it's 1080 by 1080, you'll see it's a little bit wider now, but it's not quite as tall. So in this case, we might want to zoom in and maybe it's just gonna be these two people. So again, I'm just using image scale. Just be careful because if you zoom in too far and it's maybe not a high quality or high resolution image, you might start to get this kind of pixelated look. So of course, we're gonna be quite sensible here and just set the scale to something that is not going to pixelate and should look okay, something like this. Now, if Instagram isn't what you're designing for, you'll see there are lots of variations in here. So we've got Facebook, we've got Twitter or X, YouTube, so if we go to YouTube, you'll see this is a standard YouTube thumbnail, 1280 by 720. So that might just be your thumbnail for YouTube. We're just gonna zoom in 
and maybe leave it like this. Finally, if you go to resize four, you can actually choose custom. And then in here, if maybe, for example, you run a blog and you always make your images for your blog, I don't know, 1000 by 600, then you'll see you can set up a custom size here. So let's do 1000 by, in this case, it's going to actually constrain it to 563, but that's okay. Or we could maybe make this one 600 and then in WordPress, we could crop it slightly to remove the top part. But you'll see here, we've managed to basically set up a custom width. However, let's go back and do Instagram. Let's go for story. Let's do what we did earlier, which was these two people around about here. So I'm just gonna we just move this out a little bit more. And let's say, for example, we wanted to edit this. Now we could bring it into Canva if we used Canva once we've downloaded it. We could open up Adobe Express and import or upload the image. But if you have an Adobe Express account and you want to edit this using Adobe Express, then all you need to do from here is click open in Adobe Express. Now, if you haven't already logged in, it will ask you to log in. If you don't have an account, it will ask you to create a free account. I've already logged in, so it's taking me straight to this image here, and it's going to allow me to basically manipulate it. So I could come into here, and let's say, for example, we wanted to add some text, so I could go to text, and don't worry about it looking a little bit sort of pixelated just now, it will be absolutely fine. Let's go for add your text, just going to add standard text. I'm going to put something like, um, let's in here, let's just select all of this text and put bright ideas. Let's drag the text up. We're going to make this text um, white. So we'll select it all and we'll change the color here for the fill color to white. Let's change the font as well. So let's see if we can find a slightly um, better font to use. So I'm going to go for something just a bit bolder and let's just position that there. And then I might want to go into elements and let's see if we can put light bulb in. See if we can find a little light bulb. So there is one there. Let's look for more of a sort of icon. So we'll just put this one in and move it up. It'll take a little second for it to load. And then we might with this one here, um, you could make some changes to it. You could maybe have a look and see if there's any effects that you can apply. So maybe you want to go for this kind of blue or maybe even like a little pink would work well. And then from here, because you'll see the image has now loaded, it's all good. All we need to do is click download and we're just gonna go for a PNG. You could do um, JPEG if, in fact, this probably works better for JPEG because it's an actual um, image with people as opposed to vector graphic. Let's hit download. And then we will see if we go into our downloads folder once we've saved this one then you can see we now have a correctly sized image for Instagram with some text added in and a little um, element which we've done using Adobe Express. So whether you're a Canva fan or an Adobe Express fan or you're just looking to quickly resize your images, hopefully you have learned a trick or two. And this is an incredibly powerful and useful free to use application. And I love the fact that you don't even need to have an account if you just want to quickly resize your images. Hopefully you found this tutorial to be useful. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. If you've not done so already, I would love it if you could subscribe to support this channel and drop some comments in the comments here below if you have any questions or any other ideas for this particular tool. Anyway, hopefully you want to check out some of the other videos that live on this channel. There are plenty for Canva, Adobe Express and other applications that might interest you. And I'll see you in the next video.